Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the testing of hypothesis. In this lecture, we will see what is the relation between the T and the chi-square statistics. Myself, Dr. Gurk, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can simply follow this link for finding the various updated videos on the probability and stat. So as all of us knows that the student T distribution and the chi-square, it's also called as the Pearson chi-square test, are the widely used in the statistical testing of the hypothesis. What are the purposes of the t-test is there which are used to compute or you can say estimates the mean of the normal distribution provided the variances of the population is not given to you. Also what is the purpose of the uh, chi-square distribution? It is basically to determine whether there is any statistical difference between the expected frequencies as well as the observed frequencies under the different contingency table. So once you have seen the importance of this uh, t-test and the chi-square, we can analyze what is the relation between them. So what is the relation is? If t follows the uh, t-statistics, then the relation between the chi-square and the t-statistics is here, where this z is called as the standard normal variant. This is a standard normal variant. So how you can derive that or what is the meaning of that? So we can see. So firstly, we will see what is the T distribution. The T distribution is that if you have some IAD, normal IAD variables are there and the population's variance that is this sigma is unknown, then we always use the T statistics defined like here. Where capital S is called as the unbiased estimator, this N minus 1 is called as the degree of freedom. So once you have the N number of the IAD variables, then the degree of freedom will be N minus 1 and capital S square is called as the unbiased estimator of the variance. On the other hand, what is the chi-square statistics that? The chi-square statistics means if you have the some standard normal variant that is a z, that is what is that? All of you know that the meaning of the z is here. So if you put the square of this, that is a square of the z here, this is called as the chi-square distribution and having one degree of freedom. So it is abbreviated as here, this is the chi-square and the degree of freedom is abbreviated like here. Some books will also be write like this, this way, this is the one, this one is called as the degree of freedom. In other words, what you can say that if you have uh, the standard normal variant, that's a z, whose mean is zero, variance is one, then you can say the z-square, why? You can see what is that? If I call this is a z, then this will be by z-square, then z-square will follow the chi-square uh, statistics with a one degree of freedom. If you want to extend them to be the n, dis n uh, variables are there, n degree freedom, then you can write like here or you can say this way. Now you can again analyze that this i, this sigma is independent of the i, so I can take it outside and I can write like this way. So therefore, you can see the relation between the t and the chi-square. That's a very simple one line is there. You can start with the t statistics. In order to define here, what is the value of the x bar minus mu? So we know that if x i follows the normal distribution with mean mu and the here, and these each of the x i's are my iid, then the sample mean, that is the x bar, will follow again the normal distribution with mean mu and the variance is sigma square by n. So you can define the z corresponding to this is, this is x bar minus whatever the mean divided by their standard deviation. So you can find the value of this from here. So this is nothing but my this. So this value will be cancelled out. So this will be here. So that is the t statistics can be represented here with n minus 1 degree of freedom. Now we can represent, we can find the value of sigma by s. How you can find that? We can start with the definition of the s. This is here. As we derive that, this is there, the n degree of freedom. But if you think about that, this s square is, what is that? This is my degree of freedom. So this is the unbiased estimator having n minus 1 degree of freedom. So what you can do is that you can replace this value of the n instead of the n degree of freedom. Now in this case is the n minus 1 degree of freedom. I can write like here. Then this numerator value I can compute from here as this. So from this, can you find the value of the sigma by s from this expression? You can easily find the value as here. Now substitute this value in, into this, what you get, you will get this values as here. Or you can also simplify like this way, this is the degree of freedom associated with this, you can write here. 
if you closely look about this term what you can see that this is the n minus 1 this is the n minus 1 this is the n minus 1 and this part is independent of the n so we can write in journal as i can replace this with respect to the n so what is that this is the t statistic this is the chi square distribution this is my standard normal variable also we know that uh, uh, z is nothing but my chi square of there so you can write like here chi square distribution with one degree of freedom so that is the square of sorry this is the square of this so i can write these values as of this so how, how you can find the value of z is this is nothing but the square root of this so this is the relation between the chi square and this t square so you can write either in terms of the z or in terms of the uh, chi square so if t follows if any of these statistics if any of the variable follow the t statistic with the n degree freedom then you can write as the z upon the chi square will follow the relation between the t and the chi square so if you want to find some another videos related to the z test t test all there you can simply follow this channel name dr harishkar on the youtube you can find all these variables with the solved example till then you can follow this link for finding the updated videos best of luck students happy learning